Dreamland Barbecue is one of the most acclaimed barbecue joints in the whole world and has been visited by politicians, professional athletes, and celebrities from around the globe. So we headed to Tuscaloosa, Alabama to check out their legendary ribs for ourselves. Oh yeah, now we're talking. When my mother and father first opened in 1958, it was a hamburger joint where black people used to come and party at on the weekends. And then as it became more popular, the ribs was in such demand that my mom couldn't do the fish or the cheeseburgers and everything anymore. So. What do you like about Dreamland? The ribs. What's great about today? What you, is it the, the ribs. Is it the, you have to come the to Dreamland. Hey, the pudding. <laughs> Best pudding in the South. And the sauce and the bread. Whenever you're eating something like ribs, Wear dark clothing or a bib. Sauce in the bread, the baby. Don't get no better than that, does it? We're turning it over right now. And what brings you all the way here to Alabama? Alabama football. Good is football. there anything else and Dreamland? On the game day, the line is usually to the end of the street. The longest people have waited was three to four hours. Now how many of these do you do on the weekend? On oh game my weekend. goodness. Oh, but tomorrow ball game, I know I do two, three hundred of them. Did you eat ribs today? What did you have? What is your game day I had food? Ribs. Get a little barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's how you do it right now. My dad said that people ask what we put in. My dad just said, tell them a lot of tender love and care. That's all we put. This is a secret. Another good tip is try to get some of the sauce in your fingernails, and then you can suck on your fingernails and enjoy this the rest of the day. Your Florida Gators ain't got none of that, I can tell you that. <laughs> they eat peanut butter and jelly on game day. We eat ribs and barbecue sauce. The majority of uh, the pictures that are in here, they've been here and they've sent them back for us to put up, like Reba McIntyre. We have, we've had a lot of sports people. A lot of the athletes, my dad had pictures with the athletes. Uh -huh. I'm not finished with that. You have a no partying sign up here. Has that been a problem? Is that why y'all have to No. Uh, uh, my father said he came in here one day and he just stuck the sign. That's the same sign. He stuck it over the door when he was leaving out. So everybody would just come in and turn around and just look at it. And they liked it. So we just keep it up. One time we had, we had somebody had pulled it off. We had to have one made because people were like, why you don't have the sign no more? This is really good. The only problem is there's a bone in the middle of every one of these ribs. I'm going to have to complain. The main thing on my bucket list is I had some of the best parents in the world, but I don't want to dedicate my life to just being here. I just want to enjoy myself because life is just too short not to enjoy yourself. And I want to enjoy just some of the things that God has given me. So that's the main thing on my bucket list. I like Jeanette. She, <laughs> she rocks. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you all keep doing this too. This Thank is you. cool.